Canadian vlogger arrested in Trinidad after gang videos. Yeah, man. This vlogger went to Trinidad and I link up with a gang man, them in a gang bang them, seeing where he interview them, take some pictures and videos and talk about the gang and the violence and things that's going on in the country. But it wasn't a good look still because it looked more like he was promoting violence and crime. Trinidad government them under pressure right now with the bad man them gangster them. So they run in pan him and lock him up in a charge him because they don't like the promotion what are going on now. Seeing you know hear the whole thing right about now. Ooh yeah. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. Bag of things, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it don't make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. Yo, yo, I'm going to keep up with myself, no man. I'm going to see a bag of things made at TV, no. Don't. Start touch up the like button, friend, no. Give me at least 1,500 likes. I that me I work with right now. Nothing less, you know. Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, Canadian vlogger who specializes in video interviews with gunmen, criminals and gangs on his world travel has been arrested after posing such an exchange in Trinidad and Tobago. Official and his family said, Christopher Arthur Hughes, who goes by Chris Mosliss, Chris Mosliss in goes by saying, has been charged with publishing a statement with sedacious, sedacious intention and will appear in court in Port of Spain next week, a police statement said Thursday. So right now, they don't like that one going on, you know. It look like Sam did some things where the Trinidad government and police department not approve of. They don't like that move there. This came after 45 year old published a video on YouTube this week featuring alleged gang members advocating criminal activities and using threatening language. It said the charge carries a maximum prison sentence of five years and a fine of 3,000 US dollar. Jaja, it look like some boy him get himself in a hot water, you know. Yeah, man. Him get himself not some serious thing, I you know. Now, we can continue now. Yous who arrived on the Caribbean island about three weeks also interviewed a number of alleged gang members and his travel and shared his experiences on Facebook and YouTube, garnering more than 100,000 views. Yo, it's serious. What for people around the world, I see what I go on. And everybody are preaching it that I we know. I said, hold on, I say, gang, I go on. This no look good for the tourist board. So the government is going to come down on this money. Because the government, I say, hold on, man. With a video like this, you're going to make people know want to travel to Trinidad. Eh? I lie, we're going to lock up your blood later and throw you in a jail. Because we don't want the world to see these things. Watch what I go on now. All the videos have since been removed. So I'm going to move the video them off of my channel. Take them off completely. In some of them, alleged gang members bearing arms complain about their treatment at the hands of the government. A message on his YouTube page purported to be from members of his family alleged that Hughes was being held without access to a lawyer. Trinidad and Tobago sits just a few miles from mainland South America and has become an important drug, drug hub gun and human trafficking point the government say more than 100 gangs operate in the country of 1.4 million people and has attributed nearly half of the 242 murders registered in the country last year to gang activity them have a lot of gangs over there Bam, tell her. right now them have the six them have the seven them have the 8, the 9, and the 10, and the 12, and the 13, and the 14. They have some gang right now in the Trinidad that be in numbers. 6, 7, and 8, uh, and the numbers continue going. The thing I get bad. See? Last week, the daughter of a street food seller was kidnapped and freed, apparently, for a ransom. And the ransom thing I go on, a kidnapping thing. So, you know, look good. 
Four members of the gang blamed for that crime were killed by police. It was one of the gangs visited by youth. John was star, you don't know, say government will come long for them wicked and now because it you know look good. The Trinidad government are saying, so you yeah, promote the gang them. No man a jail, you go man. I see you sitting go on the suck. See? No, I could jump over to the second incident now. Yeah man, I could do it man. Do so, do so upon the like button at the same time. Like and share and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Quick and fast. See? Touch up the notification bell so when the video them drop, you know, get them. Hurry up viewers and sub to say a word. Man fatally shot in De La Vega City, Spanish town. Spanish town again in the media boy. The place I get ready now. The police in St. Catherine are probing the murder of a man who was shot in the face in De La Vega City, Spanish Town on Friday. Killed was Gregory Lawson, otherwise called 20, 30 years old of De La Vega City. Viewers and subscribers, yeah man. It is reported that about 10, 15 a.m. Residents stumbled upon Lawson's body in the vicinity of a bar and summoned the police. So a resident they run up and down when they see the body and say, yo, John, you want to call the police right now? There's a dead man here, so. See? Larson had what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the face. He was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Spanish Town Criminal Investigation Branch is probing the incident. A straight in face and shoot him, you know. Man, he lick out his head back. Shoot him in the face and lick out his head back. Viewers and sub. In a done this of viewers and sub, 32 year old man cut down during reported shootout with cops. Shotgun seized. In the com says, more fatal shooting reported this year compared to corresponding period last year. The police them had turned up a shooting. So what in the com one them do? That more I know. What in the com one them do? Them want the police them have the boy them a shoot after them and don't do nothing about it. Go up on them phone and say, yo, in the come, guess what? Some man a shoot after we, some gun man. What will we do? The police them not go do that. The police them have to do what they have to do. They have to return the fire, you know. Gun boy, if it's dead, you know. Continuing, the Independent Commission of Investigation in the come is reporting that more police fatal shooting have been reported across Jamaica since the start of the year compared to the corresponding period last year in the com in a release said year to date 55 persons have been shot and killed by the security forces of which 11 occurred in may so the police have turned up a shooting seen this according to data is seven more people killed over the mentioned period this year when compared to five months last year when 48 persons were fatally shot. The report stated that 12 of those shooting occurred in May. The latest incident took place in Central Village where a 32-year-old man identified as Dwayne Beckford was shot and killed during a reported shootout with the law men. John no star. If you don't want to do the criminal and get killed, tell them to stop shooting after my police and my soldier them. If they don't want the dirty criminal then get killed, tell them, Mr. Indicom, to hand over the guns to the police them. Bring the guns them to the station and turn in themselves. Otherwise, from that dirty gun boy, I will get dirt. Boy, I will get gunshot and then dirty nastiness. See? I tell you that. Because the police them already make up their mind. You know? The police them already get a lawful order to carry out the work. So when me I tell you in the come, talk to a criminal them, tell them to behave themselves. The incident occurred in afternoon of Thursday, May the 30, in Rockford Avenue section of St. Catherine Base Community. A report from the Corporate Communication Network CCN, the police information arm, stated the police reported that they were on intelligence-led duty when upon approaching a building, a man fired in the direction of them. All three officers discharged their weapons during the incident. So what them for do? Well, on the man, let me ask you a question good. What them for do? They have to fire them gun. I that them train for do. They have to defend themselves. I that them train for do. The police them have to protect them life and property, you know. 
If they can't protect themselves, how they going to protect the citizens of Jamaica? See? We don't have to understand that. Police said one black 12 gauge shotgun with serial number Irius was reported as recovered from the scene from the deceased man. Police then take off a big gun and fight dirty criminal. No. In the come say it was informed that nobody worn camera was issued, assigned, or used in the incident. The police said, nah, No time for no camera man. Gun shot a fire. What if you do say, Yo, criminal, I beg you to pause them and put on a camera. Yeah, man, hold on them and put on a camera. I know say thing go. When gun shot a fire, you have to meet gunshot with gunshot. You see me as I exchange around. Nobody now no time to put on a camera. You understand me I say? Alright man, a bag of things media TV man. Like, share and subscribe. I don't know a thing go. Oh, bag of oh, things oh, media oh, TV oh. man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal. Out.